Okay, so for the first time this season, I actually predicted my opponent's six mons perfectly. Like, you guys didn't see it on video, obviously, so there's no proof of it. But these were the six that I actually had queued up on the layout, and Emil and I just exchanged teams, and these are the six that he's bringing. So I am quite ready for this. Uh, I think that I have pretty much every Pokemon, like, more or less solved, I want to say. Like... Treads is really good into Garg. Uh, Scrafty's gonna get off and intimidate on on Lilligan, and then I still have the Uxie to revenge it because it's pretty invested. Uh, Araquanid has to hit into Scrafty's helmet. Petron has Muck to deal with. Lando can't kill the Mean Chow outside of a Psychic, uh, and then Terrapagos also has to deal with uh, Muck with Haze and and whatnot. So uh, that's really cool. That's that's awesome uh, that I got all six right, but. Let's get into it. Let's let's start this game. All right, here we go. So, uh, yeah, there's the six, like I said, and we are always leading Prim. So I already have Prim loaded up into the Calc, and I am going to uh, pray he doesn't lead with Araquanid because that's the worst lead for Prim. Everything else is quite good. Terra Bubble, there is the Araquanid. So this is going to be a flip turn into Scrafty. We might see Terra turn one. I know that Scrafty lives banded uh, liquidation after Intimidate, even from Terra Water. I ran this exact scenario in a mock, this exact lead. So Scrafty comes in into the Araquanid. It is Terra Water, as expected. So he's going to try to break with this early. So 252 Adamant plus one. We flip turn out, we go Scrafty, we apply Intimidate, and Liquidation does a maximum of... Is this applying Terra? 66%. So we go Scrafty, we got the helmet. He does not have the uh, the Weavile. So Scrafty's role is to check this. Here comes the Liquidation. This should be banded. Is what I'm expecting. There's banned, yep. That is 100% choice banded. Takes Rocky Helmet Chip. And now we're going to go for the knockoff and get rid of the item. Oh, okay. So he's super fast. Cool. All right. So there goes Liquidation. And now... Um, now we have to check if Mean Xiao KOs this. <laughs> with close combat. It should. 51 to 61 to max HP. But this thing is max speed. So it doesn't have max HP. It's max attack, max speed. So that does 63 min. So that should just be a free Mean Xiao here. Absolutely. So let's just swap in Mean Xiao. I don't see a problem. Yep. Close combat should take this out after two helmet hits and the flip turn. Let's see where he's at. He's at 56. So yeah, this should be an easy close combat kill. No problemo. Now the question is, does he stay in here? Because he has a whole ass Petrarunt. So, <laughs> that could easily come in on me. He is going to withdraw, okay. That's fine. That is going to be the Petch. There's Petchy. And now we have to be careful here, because we cannot go into something that allows his Araquanid to just come back in and attack. So we're going to go for the... U-turn is negligible damage. Do I want to reveal my item right away? Probably not. So I could just go hard Uxie. Um, I'm surprised he was faster than me, honestly. I really wanted that knockoff because that would have made that thing way less of a threat. I could have literally just gone anything here. Uh, I think I don't want to reveal that I'm assault vested yet. If I'm going to U-turn, he's probably going to parting shot anyway. I could bring in Uxie. I could bring in... Bringing a plethora of stuff, honestly. He's obviously going to parting shot here. So... Mm, yeah, let's reveal. It's fine. We'll reveal. So that does nothing. That does like 3%, obviously. It's quad resistant. And we are going to go into... I need treads for the Garg. Uh, I need muck for the Terrapagos. Uh, and I can't allow him to go into the Araquanid for absolutely free. So I think I do have to go into Uxie here. 
And I have to check if Yuxi dies to uh, Araquanid. Liquidation plus one Terra Water does 95 max to my set. So if he does Parting Shot out, we do live, we get up rocks, and we get off a Psychic. So that's quite nice. Let's see. It's, a, it's just a straight Shadow Ball. Okay, that's fine. Does a lot, but not enough. No Spit F drop either, and this is going to be the Stealth Rock turn. He doesn't know my set. He doesn't know how fast I am. Um, I have only 32 speed on this thing, uh, but naturally I, I outspeed a bulky Petron, so I am just going to go for rocks here. He probably doesn't want to stay in on a Psychic. Shadow Ball was pretty free, but I didn't want him parting shotting out on Muck into the Araquanid, because that's like literal loss. Instant. So... So we are going to get up the rocks. Uh, that's going to chip away at the Araquan. It's going to chip away at the Landorus. If uh, Terrapagos is not boots, that hits that as well. And Garg is checked. Here's Stealth Rocks. We are faster than the Pentarunt. That's awesome. And what are we going to see here? Just another Shadow Ball. It is another Shadow Ball. And that is going to be not death. And we can just go for a Psychic here. Nothing on his team really wants to take this. We are faster, and we are quite invested. So this thing is, is going to take good damage from this attack. And then I can just bring in my, um, my treads pretty safely. So rocks are up. The Lilligant looks a little scary. I'm not going to lie. If it's Victory Dance, it is a little scary. Because I have to be positioned perfectly against it to avoid losing. All right, we are gonna see the withdrawal. What's coming in? That is Bobby. That is going to be the Garganical. Okay. So against the Garg, I could Nasty Plot. I could do that. We do get a Spit F drop. That's actually pretty big. That makes me want to stay in. What is he? That is uh, Moranga. Okay, interesting. So, Treads is not as safe as I'd like it to be because he has the... Huh. How do I want to play this? I got the Spit F drop. His Spit F went back up. So, no. Treads is still safe. Treads is fine here. I can keep my Uxie for the Petrant later. And just fire off a Psychic. It, although it doesn't check Lilligant... So maybe I don't care, and I just Psychic. That might be the play. But I have such a good switch in, like... Yeah, I'm just going to switch it in. It's fine. We'll keep the sack. There's no point. I brought Covert Cloak for this thing, like... Here's Treads. Salt Cure comes out. We are Cloak. So that does nothing. And now, we could go for a Rapid Spin. I like Heavy Slam here. Heavy Slam looks ra relatively free. Uh, I could alternatively Earth Power. I don't like the idea of the Lando coming in, so I'm actually just going to Rapid Spin first. I could Ice Spinner as well on a prediction. Uh, if he goes into a Raquidid, how much does a Raquidid take from my Treads? Heavy Slam. Not much, but Earth Power actually does a good amount to no bulk. He could be dead after the Rapid Spin. So, yeah, I, I think I am just going to... Hmm. Yeah, Rapid Spin. So here we go. Rapid Spin comes off. We are going to be faster now. Could have Body Press, obviously. It shouldn't do it KO me. I don't think Earthquake does either. Nope, not at all. And we will go for the Earth Power here. That looks relatively free. And yeah, I think I have most of his stuff checked. Petron seems to be more of like an offensive set, I want to say. Here's the Earth Power. That is going to 2-hit KO. We do see another Earthquake. Could sack Araquanid here. I kind of expect it. But I am still going to go for the Earth Power. There goes the Garg. So that's down. Got to get rid of that. 
The Araquanid is sitting at about 60. Uh, maybe a little lower, like 59. And the Petcherunt took no damage, I want to say. And rocks are up. That was Lilligant that I brought down. Where is Araquanid? Araquanid's here. There we go. Okay, are you Scarfed? What are you? Because I'm just going to Ice Spinner you. Uh, actually, how much does Heavy Slam do? Uh, Lilligant. Not you, the other one. Sun Sweeper. Heavy Slam does 72 to 85. Whereas Ice Spinner does 64 to 76. So he'd have to be Scarfed. I think I outspeed Scarf, actually. Uh, let me check. What is my speed hit? Uh, I think I outsped this. No, I didn't. I didn't. If he's scarfed, he, like, speed ties Mean Chow, probably, right? I'm just gonna Heavy Slam. Here we go. Big damage. Okay, that's not big damage at all. That is a defensive Lilligant. What the hell? How much is he at? 50, he came in on rocks, so he was at 94, so he took 44. So is he just like max HP? He's like max HP, max defense. What the hell is this? So he has no speed. Does that mean Yuxi outspeeds him? Uh, no, it does not. Okay, so Stun Spore, huh? Interesting. Very interesting. I know that Mean Xiao outspeeds. Problem is Mean Xiao can't hit this very hard. I think I do just stay in and heavy slam. This thing has served its purpose. I might also be faster still. I was, but unfortunate. <laughs> Defog, okay. So the rocks go away, but that's not a huge problem. I'm still faster than Petrarunt. Uh, And we are just going to heavy slam again. Hmm. Very interesting Lilligan here. I'm not sure why this this variant came to this game, but it is sitting at 50, like exactly 50. Uh, he takes about 44 from Heavy Slam. It might be a low roll. It might be. Uh, it is a low roll, actually. It's an absolute low roll. So there, there actually is a chance that I KO him here, funny enough. On a high roll, I get 52 into max defense. Uh, Impish. Well, if he's Impish, max HP, max defense, then no. Uh, what's cool is that uh, because his Lilligan is low and his Araquanid is low, see, that's very close to KOing. There's Healing Wish. Okay, so what's catching the Healing Wish? The Araquanid? Okay, so the, the Lilligan goes down. I'm still faster than the Araquanid. Lando has to come in to revenge me. So, okay, this is, uh, this is interesting. Very interesting. Uh, I still have my Mean Xiao. Here's Land Chad, that's Landorus. Now, he has to attack here. He should know that I have Ice Spinner, right? So, like, I'm tempted to switch hard into Primarina on this. And then just flip turn. Because, like, he should... Earth, Earth Power is going to do a lot, though, regardless. I could alternatively go Mean Shao. But if he's Scarfed, that's bad. So I think I just attack. Like I said, this has served its purpose. It's not doing anything else. I'm just Ice Spinnering here. Okay, there's the Earth Power. Okay. So. With that said... We can now go Prim. He still doesn't know my Prim set. He might assume Scarf because turn one I outsped the Araquanid. Or he might just assume very fast, right? Uh, if I were to go for a Moonblast here, how much does that do to uh, Araquanid? Araquanid with no bulk from Primarina. 
43 to 51, so that's not bad. It catches the healing wish, and then it, it takes basically half again. Uh, if I surf, something just dies. So I think I have to Moonblast here. And how much does Lando take? Landorus. 57, and there's a good chance that I live Sludge Wave. So yeah, I am just going for Moonblast. There's the switch out. What's coming in? Okay, he went hard Petrunt. Wow. No, wait, he went into uh, the Araquanid. Okay, so he catches the Healing Wish, and then we get off the Moon Blast. And because he's super fast, there is a chance that we 2 a KO him. Right here. So here's the Moon Blast. Okay, so it's not a 2 at KO, but he also does not KO me. So I think that there's a chance that he switches here into the Petrunt. Do I risk that and go Yuxi? And then get up rocks and try to win the game with Muck plus Primarina. That might be my play. I don't think I can Moonblast again here because... He probably just wants damage for Lando, right? Hmm. Huh. But even if he gets damage for Lando, if it's Scarfed, then... Uh, mean Shao lives anything, and if it's not Scarf, then Primarina outspeeds it. So I probably just Moonblast again. Yeah, I'm gonna Moonblast again. Because I live this, I'm pretty sure. Right? Or did I Calc Intimidated? I Calc Intimidated, didn't I? Okay. Well, now it comes down to... Mean Shao and Muk. I no longer have my Scarfer, but Muk can beat his, two of his special attackers and Mean Shao can beat the other. So it's going to come down to some 50s, I think. He's really low right now. So I'm probably just going to go Mean Shao and U turn. Mean Shao. Uh, does that kill from 14? Mean Shao into Araquanid with no bulk. U-turn does... Yeah, it does enough. 24 min. So we go U-turn every time. Switches out. What does he go into? That is the Petrant. That is a U-turn. And because he was defog, the rocks don't matter. I think damage on this matters more than the rocks. I could alternatively go muck. And save my ground immunity in case he is scarfed. Uh, but I like the positioning of Yuxi better, I think. Alright, so his Araquanid is really low. It's at 14, we said. And his Petrant is at 95. So there we go. It's 95. And uh, yeah, I think we're just going to go for the Psychic to chip this as much as possible. Alternatively, Rox is probably just fine. Because um, Rox hits the Araquanid. And as long as I'm positioned with... Mean Shao, I think I'm okay. This is dicey. Because now the Araquanid comes in and it's basically GG. Well, depending on its investment, it could actually die to rocks. My HP bar could be a little bit off. So I am going to go for Stealth Rock. Okay, he's going to withdraw. Interesting. Why? He's going to sack the Araquanid. Okay. So not only do I get up rocks, I also get the Araquanid. I think that that's a misplay. I'm pretty sure that's a misplay, my dude. Because now I just Psychic for free and knock you out. That's a dead Araquanid. So there goes the Healing Wish target. And now rocks are up. If Lando was Sash, it's Sash is broken. Uh, mean Shao can live Psychic if it's not a Life Orb Lando. And Terrapagos is checked by Muck. 
So I, I don't think I agree with this line of play from Emil. I think he had a great chance here. And now... He's gonna like U-turn or something, right? So I could just go Mean Shao. I think that's fine. He's not gonna Earth Power ever. Yeah, I think Mean Shao's okay here. Huh. Okay, so the Lando took 12.5. Uh, we'll bring it down to 87. In comes Mean Shao. Goes for U turn. That's fine. This is just going to be another U turn for me. In comes the Petra Run to take another 12% if it's not boots. There's Petchy. 95 down to 83. Yep, it does take that. And now we U-turn, we get off another 4%. 3 to 4%, so it should fall to about 79. Here we go. Nice. Yeah, it does fall to about 80. And now we just go Muck. Muck is perfectly safe. Muck just knocks off here. There's Muck. Here's the Shadow Ball. This is going to bounce off. Because it's a Petcherunt. Does 60 damage. There's a Spadef drop, but I do have Haze. To stop this from beating me. So I'm going to go for the... Uh, I think I actually Haze now, maybe? I could alternatively switch back into Mean Shao and then you turn back into this to get rid of the drop. But I like Mean Shao's health too much. So I think I'm just gonna knock here. There's a nasty plot. So we do have Haze for this. Uh, of course, we are gonna take a ton here though. So there's Cold Burr, okay. Funny enough, that's what I am on my Yuxi. <laughs> All right, so that's that. And then we are just going to Haze. And then ideally pain split after. So we're going to take a lot from the Shadow Ball. It's going to do 120, 180 damage. Uh, 180 HP. So I'm going to fall to like 201. Something like that. So we're just going to haze. 214, cool. Here's the haze. Awesome. All stat changes were eliminated. There we go, we get the Black Sludge. And now I think we just click Knock Off again. Yeah, Knock Off again. There's another Shadow Ball, he's trying to predict my Yuxi coming in. Gets another Spadef drop, which is really annoying. There's another Knock. I have to go for Haze here, I believe. So we'll haze. So he's nasty plot, shadow ball, recover what? What's the last move? He can't plot safely here. I think he has to shadow ball. I maybe should have gone into Mean Shao this turn. Oh, he actually recovers. Wow. Okay. So I mean, this is just going to be a pain split turn. There's the haze. We get rid of the drop. We out PP this. That's how I built this muck. I built it to out PP the Petrunt. So I'm gonna pain split here. There's the Shadow Wall. Take a good amount of damage. Go for the pain split. Come back up. There we go. Nice. Get our Black Sludge. Uh, now I think we click Haze. Um, I could alternatively just click Knock Off. Knock Off. Knock Off seems fine. There's the plot. Okay. So I could have gone Yuxi there, obviously. Wouldn't have been terrible. But that's okay. Because we just go for Knock. There we go. We get our Black Sludge. Now we Haze. He might go into Lando this turn. He doesn't. Okay. There's a Shadow Ball. I'm gonna go for the Haze here. 
And now I think we go for one more haze. At this point. Yeah, now we haze again. Yeah, burn his nasty plot. There we go, nice. I have way too much PP for you. So I just have to click moves faster now. So now it's knock. There's plot. That's fine. So we get off a knock here. Now we definitely have enough HP to just go for a haze. There's a shadow ball. Assuming no crit, we're fine. That's no crit. No drop either. Drop didn't matter because we're hazing. There we go. And now we just knock off. There's the shadow ball. Here's knock. Cool. Leave him low. And we're just going to click knock again. There's the recover. I might have to cut this part out because <laughs> this is long. <laughs> All right. There's another knock. All right. Now we haze because we only take 60 from the shadow ball. Like 60 to 70, I think. Something like that. Here's the Shadow Ball. No crit. No crit. Haze is fine. Alright. I should have kept track of how many um, Shadow Balls he's used. Yeah, I should have been keeping track of that. Oh well. Uh, okay, so I think here we click... Uh, pain split. There's the shadow ball. Nice. Does he get the drop this turn? I'm at 51. He does get the drop, unfortunately. Here's the split. We go back up to 130, but that's not actually that much, which isn't great. Um, and now I click haze, right? Yeah, now it's Haze. I don't know how much time is left on my timer. I haven't been keeping track. Hopefully there's like more than 10 minutes. All right. Goes for a recover. That's fine. HP restored. I Haze. I get rid of the Spit F drop. I can Pain Split this off. Uh, alternatively, I could just go for Knock Off this turn, which I think is the better play. Because I think he just Shadow Balls. Um... So yeah, I will just knock. I can't waste time either. So here's the nasty plot. Here's a knockoff. We're then we're gonna haze and then we're gonna pain split. So it's knock, haze, pain split. Get some health back. We take 120 here in the shadow ball. So we haze this. If at any point he goes into Lando, that's fine. Like it does it doesn't matter, honestly. I could just go Yuxi and then into yeah. Here's the Lando. This should be it. Reliable partner. Oh, no. This is the Terrapagos. What? Okay. Does it take rocks? It does. Okay, cool. So that takes rocks. I haven't been keeping track of how much Petch Run is at because it was like an endless 1v1. But that takes rocks. Okay. So I think now we just go for the Poison Jab. He got annoyed, huh? Oh, I could have gone Mean Shao as well here. Mm, maybe that was better. Does he have Rapid Spin on this thing? He goes for Earth Power. How much is this going to do? A lot. Wow. All right. Here's Poison Jab. Does a good amount. Do we get the Poison Touch? What is that? The Defense Berry. Okay. <laughs> Key Berry. Cool. All right. Um, I did take more than what I'm at from that Earth Power. So I'm going to switch into Mean Shao here. 
It's unfortunate that I didn't get the, uh, that I didn't get the poison touch, because that would have basically killed this thing. Uh, I also do have to note that it's at plus one right now, so he goes for the Terra Star Storm, that's fine. Does a lot. Uh, how much is he at? 62? How much does Terrapagos take? Terrapagos... Uh, Terrastal versus Mean Shell's close combat. He does not die. Oh, wait, this is with the uh, Terra, Shell, Terra Shift applied, right? Terrastal, Terra Shell. Oh, no, it's not. That's not what Terra Shell applied. Wow. Okay, so I think we actually have to go for the U turn here. Yeah, I think I have to U-turn here. Damn. Okay. So we U-turn. We go into Muck. Here it is. That is a Muck. This should not take me out, actually. No, no, it does. Uh, it's 180 versus 180, actually. Yeah, no, it does. It always does. All right, so now do we have to go into Mean Shell and click Close Combat? And hope it KOs from 40. Uh, Terrapagos, Terrastal, uh, with a plus one in defense. No Terra Shell applied. Oh, he's not at plus two. What am I, what the hell am I doing? Hold on. Uh, Terrastal, 60 at plus one. And if he's max HP? 50, and if he's max defense, 41. Yeah, he's dead. 40. He needs to literally be like max HP, max defense to live this. So we go for close combat. We knock out the Terrapagos. I could have knocked it out before, actually, which is really annoying. I didn't need to U-turn. That's very upsetting, because I would have had an extra sack. And now if the Lando is Scarfed, I'm screwed. Oh, okay, he just goes Petrunt. Yeah, now he just has to Shadow Ball forever. Yeah, that sucks. Nothing I can do. Um, I mean, I can Ice Spinner. <laughs> That's about all I can do. I could go for Ice Spinner, switch out into Uxi, come back in, Ice Spinner, Ice Spinner. Uh, yeah, it's not looking good. <laughs> Probably dead. He just spams it forever. There's the spinner. He just has to click. Wait, what? Is he crazy? If I U-turned there, the game was over. That's insane. Wow, okay. Um, there's nothing I can do here. With just Yuxi left. I got an ice spinner forever. Crit. Malignant chain comes out. Does a lot. Gets the poison. Confuses me as a result. Poison Puppeteer. And maybe I can salvage one differential point. Yeah, that was a crazy recover. Because if I just go Yuxi, the game ends. That's insane, actually. Wow. Alright, well, Ice Spinner. We're not predicting here. All right, I could still be rest on Yuxi, for example. He doesn't know if I am. He does, he hasn't seen an item, so here's the ice spinner. There's another malignant chain, and I'm just gonna go for the psychic and hope it takes this out, even though I know it does not. There's no way it does. Not from sixty, right? And regardless, he could preserve differential here if he really wants to. So, yeah, let's just go for the Psychic. Here it is. Psychic. And it's not enough, yeah. That's GG's. All right, I tried to preserve Differential there. Couldn't get it done. Unfortunate. Um, yeah, that, that turn with Primarina was pretty big, but there was nothing really I could have switched into anyway. Something was going to die, and as you could see, the, the three Mons that were on the board. I maybe should have just Pain Split against the Terrapagos, 
just gotten some of my health back knowing that he was going to attack me. That was a huge misplay, I think. Um, but that's okay. It's Amel. He's really good. And uh, I don't mind losing to him. So GG's Amel. It was a much closer game than the last time we played anyway. And uh, I enjoyed playing. So hopefully we see each other again in playoffs. Until then, make sure to go and subscribe to Amel in the description down below. His link is there as well as all the other coaches in the BBR. If you are not subscribed to us yet, you definitely should do that and leave a like on the video if you did enjoy. And I will catch you guys next time. See ya.